Precious, good morning to you. Thanks for joining me. Here we are in another psalm. This is Psalm 2. And um, it's, it's a powerful psalm. I love it. It says, Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? Now, this is interesting because this question was asked thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? What are they plotting? Well, this is a rebellion against God. And nations, it's coming from the nations, coming from the people of the nations of the world, plotting and raging against God. And, you know, probably as a young man, a teenager, or in my 20s, reading a verse this, I can't make much of it, you know, because I don't understand it. I'm not seeing it. But we are living in a day and time, wow, where we see this happening. The peoples of the world, many nations, many nations are just raising a fist against God, a fist to heaven and saying, I don't believe you. I don't want you. Forget your morals. Forget your laws. Forget your word. Forget your standard. Forget righteousness. I want my way. We want our way. We will do things the way we want to do things, leave us alone. We uh, dishonor you. We disregard you. We do not even recognize you. And that's happening today. That's happening today. Why do the nations rage? Why? And the peoples plot in vain. Well, the kings of the earth, they set themselves. And the rulers, they take counsel together. They're gathering together. They're gathering together. And we see in, into the book of Revelation where the armies are coming together to fight against Christ as he comes into the world, his return. Here, they're taking counsel together. So uh, meetings of uh, heads of state and different groups, associations, and, and what and what's not. More and more, we, I mean, these things are setting up for us a time when people are going to come together and say, well, we, are, we don't want anything to do with God and we will enact um, laws and policies, legislations and so on to oppress God's people against the Lord, against his anointed. Now, it's not just against God. But it's not just against God, but against his anointed. Who is that? That's Jesus. That's Jesus. And more and more we're seeing a world that is hateful, that is hates God, hates Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. The kings of the earth set themselves, the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying what? Let us burst their bonds apart, cast away their cords from us, saying, God, you leave us alone. Leave us alone. We don't want your laws. We're going to change what your, what your word says about marriage. We're going to change what your word says with marriage. No longer between a man and a woman. No, 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 no. We, 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 we'll make our own laws. We will change what your word says about um, sexuality. Men, who's a man, who's a woman. We will change um, whatever we want to change. Like when it comes to, to, to murder and um, sexuality, morality, things like that. We're going to make those changes. <clears throat> Let us burst their bonds apart. Cast away their cords from us. We do not want the word of God, God's law in our lives. And he says, he who sits in the heavens, he laughs. Can you imagine? You know, here we are fighting up among ourselves and trying to do things to God. Leave us alone. Get out of our lives. And God is looking down. You think, you think God is really struggling say what am i going to do he's wringing his hands in fear and thinking, what am i going to do about these people on the earth they're trying to do away no 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 no. god is sitting in you know he's sitting he's not standing up walking about and and pacing you know the floor and and thinking well or pacing the heavens and and thinking what am i going to do about the situation he who sits in the heavens laughs the lord looks down and he looks them in, holds them in derision, in derision. He's looking down at them, thinking, what on earth you think you're doing? I am the God. I am the creator of the universe. I made the world. I give you breath. Everything that you have here is from me. Is from me. We'll take this up again tomorrow. God bless.